We're going to start today's episode with a riddle. I have two faces that show you one. I once had a guest, but now have none. I'm rarely bloody and seldom blue. I'm often promised and sometimes new. What am I? Hmm. Speaking of two faces, in today's episode of Unusual as Usual, we're learning about Frank and Louis, the two-faced cat. Frank and Louis was a ragdoll cat born on the 8th of September 1999. Born with one brain but two faces, two mouths but one jaw, two noses but one esophagus, and three blue eyes. He was nicknamed Frank and Louis after Mary Shelley's infamous monster put together from multiple body parts. Ragdoll cats are large and muscular with a soft and silky coat. They're best known for their affectionate nature, placid temperament, and the tendency to go limp and relaxed when being picked up, hence the name Ragdoll. When he was a kitten, an unknown breeder brought Frank and Louis to the Cummings School of Veterinary Medicine at Tufts University, where they first diagnosed him with two faces, a condition called Diprosopia. He was initially not expected to live longer than just a few days which is typical of his condition. However, vet Martha Stevens took him home to care for him so that he wouldn't be euthanized. She ended up hand feeding him for three months. Frank and Louis did eventually learn to eat on his own and since then he's thrived. The term diprosopia is more commonly known as two-faced or Janus after the Roman god of beginnings and endings who has you guessed it, two faces. Statues of Janus are depicted with one of his faces looking forwards and the other looking backwards. Janus also holds a staff in his right hand in order to guide travelers through the correct route and a key in his left hand to open doorways, gates and passages. The cause of Janus cats isn't completely understood, but we do know there's a variety of genetic mechanisms that could cause it, although only DNA testing can pinpoint the exact cause. For instance, Janus cats may have too much SHH protein, which plays an important role in forming the animal's face during development. In Frank and Louis's case, it's very likely that he survived because one side didn't have the lower jaw or esophagus. If you had both sides of the face trying to eat at the same time, it could have caused all kinds of breathing complications. Frank and Louis have become somewhat famous from their condition, even appearing in the Guinness Book of Records in 2006, followed by a second appearance in the 2012 edition, this time being recognized as the world's oldest living Janus cat when he was 13 years old. This achievement led to him becoming an unlikely internet superstar, appearing in countless newspaper reports and online videos all over the world. Living to this age is highly uncommon because most Janus cats die within just a few days. His condition was very rare and the fact that he lived long enough to become a healthy adult cat is truly remarkable. However, sadly, in November 2014, Frank and Louis' health began to decline. Stevens brought Frank and Louis back to the coming school of veterinary medicine where it was revealed that he likely had an aggressive form of cancer. On the 4th of December 2014, the difficult decision was made for Frank and Louis to be euthanized. And there we have it, Frank and Louis, the two-faced cat. Like many record breakers, Frank and Louis defied the odds and entered the history books with his truly unique story. So who out there managed to work out the two-faced riddle? If you got it, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all we've got time for today, but I'll see you all next week. And remember, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. If you want to see more abnormal animals, you can check out the full playlist by clicking here. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video. And if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about, make sure you add it to the comment section below.